My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you the difference between uh, the new Abbey Rhodes Chambers from Waves and the Abbey Rhodes Plates from Waves. So these are both reverb plugins, but they're different types of reverb plugins. Uh, the Chambers being a chamber, reverb chamber, or echo chamber, and the Abbey Rhodes Plates being a plate reverb. So we'll look at the difference between these two. I'll go over some of the features in them. We're going to listen to them on a vocal. Uh, but the uh, main focus for this video is to really show the difference between a chamber reverb and a plate reverb. So starting with the chamber, on the left we have the chamber. And so what a chamber is, is a room with reflective sides. And you have a speaker that you put in that room. Uh, whatever signal you want reverb on, let's say a vocal for example. You send that out of the speaker, speaker goes into the room, the sound bounces around, and then you have a microphone in that room to record the sound of the reverb from the room. And with Abbey Rose Chambers, we have three different types. We've got the chamber, we've got a mirror, and stone. On the right is a plate reverb. So with the plate reverb is a sheet of metal that vibrates as the signal or sound hits it, and that creates the reverb, and then that is recorded to get your reverb sound from, from the plate. And uh, what's really cool about the Abbey Road plates is that uh, you'll, you'll see as I play it here that uh, the plate actually vibrates, or you can see the plate vibrating in uh, the GUI here. So we'll start with the uh, chambers. I'm going to play, uh, it's got some background vocals playing here. We'll flip through some of the settings here between the chamber, the mirror, the stone. And uh, you also have it, the option between different speakers, uh, if they're facing the wall or if they're in the room. And uh, microphones, got uh, two different type of microphones here as well as the position of the microphones. So I'll loop this. Uh, we'll play with some of these settings and then we'll... Uh, check out the plate. Okay, now let's move over to the plate. So uh, with the plate, uh, you have four different plate selections here. And you have a crosstalk here that will uh, kind of give you the uh, a blend of all four of the plates together. The more you have this crosstalk up towards 100. Uh, also notable features, you know, a bass cut, treble boost, pre-delay. So one thing about a plate reverb versus something like a digital reverb, you will notice that uh, if you're used to using uh, digital reverbs that there's a lot less features here that you have versus digital reverbs where you can do like your decay time, just a lot of different settings on digital reverbs. So uh, you have a damper here, which, which will uh, help decay the sound more. Okay, so let's take a listen to the plates and I'll flip through, uh, flip through some of the settings as well. Take it. 
So you can hear how we've got uh, different uh, different sounds with those four plates. Like, like A is a really big uh, reverb sound there. So between these two, oh, back, I want to go back to the chambers uh, really quickly and show this uh, steed feedback. So you also have a, a delay here. Let's turn this back on. And I'm going to now play with just this section here in the feed, in the steed the section, and I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Really interesting effects that you can get with uh, the chamber reverb. So there's a difference between those two, the chamber reverb, the plate reverb. Both of these can be used on anything that you would typically put reverb on. I personally like plate reverbs for vocals. Uh, this chamber reverb uh, would be good on drums, guitars. Um, with the right settings, it can go for vocals as well. The steed feedback really adds an interesting effect, especially if you want to do something. You can even go as far as doing sound design with this, uh, either just making some, some interesting effects here with it. So there's a difference between a chamber reverb and the plate reverb. Uh, the chamber is new. It's on, depending on when you're watching this, it's uh, on sale for $29 right now. The plates reverb I picked up for $29 as well during a sale. Uh, so if you're curious about the difference between those two, because they're, you know, they're both labeled as Abbey Road, but yeah, these are two very different style of reverb plugins. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.